But while DeSantis looks to gain ground on the former president, 10 Tampa Bay's Aaron Parsegian is following the money with a deep dive into the millions being raised to help boost his campaign. Aaron? There is a limit to how much money people can give candidates directly, but super PACs can raise unlimited amounts of cash. Never back down, the super PAC backing Governor DeSantis has raised more than $130 million thus far, in large part because of $82 million raised separately during the governor's re-election campaign. But the rest largely comes from a group of wealthy people. Names you might even recognize. A group of wealthy donors and Florida-based business people are helping prop up Governor Ron DeSantis' bid for president. <laughs> Details revealed in Super PAC Never Back Down's FEC filing late Monday night show the committee's biggest backer is Robert Bigelow, a UFO-obsessed Las Vegas real estate mogul who gave 20 million bucks. Richard and Elizabeth Uline, two of the biggest donors in Republican politics and owners of packing supply company Uline, as well as four others, gave seven-figure sums. Other notables like Florida developer Jay Odom, First Coast Energy CEO Aubrey Edge, and former San Francisco 49ers owner and Tampa Tide Eddie DeBartolo Jr. all donated six figures. Even the Orlando Magic threw the pack 50000 bucks. We have built the biggest ground game running in the election. Nobody else has competing. Never Back Down founder Ken Cuccinelli spoke with 10 Tampa Bay Tuesday. He says the group has spent more than $30 million to run ads and build a massive door knocking effort in early voting states like Iowa and New Hampshire. We've of course crossed a million doors by building out that grassroots. With much of the PAC's money coming from big injections early on, Cuccinelli says they are targeting a broader donor base in the months to come. Perseverance and work ethic impress a lot of people including donors. And uh, that is paying dividends for us as we go forward. And the thing about this super PAC money, they can spend it however they see fit, as long as they don't directly coordinate with candidates, though. Gray areas are often explored. In studio, Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay.